Gemini have just dropped Gemini 2.0 Flash Thinking, which is a new experimental model that unlocks stronger reasoning capabilities. It shows its force. So today we're going to be testing out. This is completely free for you to try. It literally just got announced a few hours ago, as you can see. And from what I can see, it's basically like an alternative to 01, 01 Preview, etc. But the difference here is that it's completely free and you can get free access to it. And it's a new update from Gemini itself, which have released like an insane amount of updates recently. So, for example, what we can do here is if we go to create prompt inside AI studio.google.com, we can test it out. So if we flick through the different available models, for example, you got like Flash Experimental, Gemini 1206, Gemini 2.0, thinking experimental and learn lm 1.5 pro experimental the one that you want to be focusing on is this one right here so you can see for example the input and output pricing and it is completely free now it comes with multi-modal understanding reasoning coding and this is basically like being able to see ai think in real time so the first place we're going to test this out with is creating content and usually what you do is you would create a long sort of article like this as you can see and using that sort of prompt but i actually think with the reasoning models because they can think out because they have a chain of thought mode and because you can see the reasoning as it goes along you don't really need like super complex prompts so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to switch this around i'm going to say create the best possible article on the keyword seo optimization japan and then i'm going to add some source context and we're going to change the prompts it says create the best possible seo article and we'll just run that and see how it performs. This is a brand new experimental model. So it's the first time we're testing it. We're seeing what's the limits, etc. It could break. Only one way to find out. Let's see how it performs and, and what sort of stuff we get from it. So if you look inside the chat here, you can see the thought process, which took 8.6 seconds. And if we click to expand the view model thoughts, you can see how it's basically decided what it's going to write about, right? For example, here you've got deconstruct the request. And so here's a keyword. Target audience is likely businesses wanting to target the Japanese market or Japanese business seeking better online visibility, right? So first of all, what it's doing is it's figuring out, okay, this is the search intent based on the keyword that we're going after. Then it's also looked at the author persona. So it's basically customizing and personalizing the content itself to the content that we're creating. And then from there, it actually decides what the tone should be. So this tone should be authoritative, experienced, pr practical, and subtly promotional without being overly salesy, which is a nuance that most other models don't get into. Now, the thing you have to note about this is it's totally different, to say, using something like the normal version of Gemini or normal version of ChatGPT, which will just blast straight into action, right? So for example, as we talked about before, Gemini 2.0 flash thinking experimental model is basically thinking out everything step by step, right? And it's thought about that for 8.6 seconds. Now, if we go on to gemini.google.com and we ask exactly the same thing here. So for example, we're gonna plug that in and I'll use the paid version, right? So just to recap, aistudio.google.com is free. Gemini Advanced is paid, right? And you don't get the thinking model inside here. So you don't have to pay for Gemini Advanced to get access to the thinking model. But if you use the basic version of Gemini Advanced, as you can see, what you'll notice is that it's not thinking about the content. It's not figuring out along the way. It's not really putting much thought into it. It's just getting straight into action. It's, you give it the direction, boom, we're off to the races. It's, it's not going to sit around and think, what's the best way to structure this? Whereas if you go inside Gemini thinking experimental, what it's actually going to do is it's really going to analyze here's the best way to write the article based on the keyword, based on the author persona, based on the CTA and also based on the search intent and context of the article. Then it will plan out the article. So you can see, for example, introduction, Japanese SEO market, keyword research, on-page optimization, off-page, technical, the power of AI, etc. And then it's started doing the content generation here and infusing Julian Goldie's voice into the content. So step-by-step, step, it's really planned this out properly, right? Now, if we actually look at the content itself, this article is super long and in-depth, right? So if we actually count that up, and we'll look at the words here. I can see already that it's personalized to me and my brand, but that just created a 1,400 word article in literally one single prompt that was super basic, right? Literally what I said was write the best article, here's some information about me. And so this is massively different to Gemini Advanced, which is gonna go off and create an article for you, but it's only gonna be like a thousand words. Or if you use exactly the same prompt inside Claude, which is usually my favorite AI writer and a paid tool, if you wanna use Claude 3.5 Sonic properly, and if we ask it to do exactly the same thing here, it's only going to write 700 words. 
right? So literally half the length, not as comprehensive, not in, as in detail. And you can also see like a lot of fluff words in there, like digital landscape and all that sort of stuff, right? So number one, thinking mode requires less prompting. And number two, it actually plans out the article properly to create something as comprehensive as possible, whilst personalized to you, your brand and everything else, right? Now it still requires some editing. I've got some quality control checklists inside my free SEO course, but you get the point. Like this creates much more comprehensive and detailed content from what I can see now. It requires more investigating, requires more testing, but from first thoughts, not bad at all. It took 23 seconds to generate that because it is a slower model, but it creates something that's actually more in depth. Now we can't really compare it just to Gemini Advanced or Claude because these are completely different models with different use cases, right? So thinking mode on Gemini 2.0 Flash could really be compared to something like ChatGPT 01 Preview. And actually there's some rumors of a new update coming out today, which will be super interesting. If that comes out from ChatGPT, you'll be hearing from me first. Don't worry about it, right? So you can see, for example, if we go on to 01, as you can see, we'll use exactly the same prompt and then we'll compare side by side. How does the content perform versus Gemini Flash? And is it as good or who's winning, right? So we've got ChatGPT 01, which is ChatGPT's version of a thinking model, like a chain of thought model. And then we've got the content from Gemini Flash on the right hand side. Now, straight away, when I look at the formatting of both articles, I'm going to say that actually Gemini Flash looks a lot more interesting, right? Because it's actually inserted headings, it's bolded the most relevant parts, it's personalized this to google.jp, etc. Actually, if you look at this article, it's not really mentioned google.jp at all. Now, I don't know whether that's relevant to the Japanese market or not, but it just seems like this is a lot more tailored to me and also the situation in Japan which makes it a lot more personalized to the search intent. It's thought about the search intent and a lot more detail. Now, if we actually look at the word count from 01 preview, let's take a look. So that's only 700 words as well. So if you want more detailed in-depth articles using exactly the same prompt, then ChatGPT, then Google's new version, Thinking 2.0, is actually impressive. Like it actually creates something that's more detailed, more comprehensive, more well thought out. And high word count, it doesn't matter so much for SEO. But if that content is useful and valuable, then it does matter. Now, what we can also do is I'm going to use exactly the same prompt on both articles here. And I'm going to say, humanize this content so it bypasses AI detectors 100% of the time. And then I'm going to do the same inside Gemini Flash as well. And we can just see, okay, Gemini Flash is already winning for content in terms of how comprehensive it is. But which one wins in terms of actually humanizing the content as well. Now, also what's interesting here is if you look at the thought process of 01, it's so basic, right? I'm sure it used to be in a lot more detail than that. It's just like understanding the task, breaking down the content, boom. There's not much thought behind that. Whereas if you look at the notes and the details inside Gemini Flash, it is a lot more comprehensive. It does give you a lot more information. And again, like usually paying like $20 a month for ChatGPT Plus to get 01 preview. And also there's a bunch of limits on here. Whereas if you're using Gemini thinking mode, there's, there doesn't seem to be any limits. It does seem to be completely free, particularly whilst it's in experimental mode. So now what we can do is we can run these through zero GPT and just see, okay, which one is more humanized and do either of them actually manage to bypass AI detectors based on their thought processes. So I've put in detect text. This is the text from chat GPT. We'll plug that in and that comes out a uh, human written, right? So that's pretty impressive that the chat GPT 01 can just quickly create human written content with one single prompt. And all we asked it to do was humanize this content so it bypasses AI detectors 100% of the time. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use exactly the same prompt. So now what we're gonna do is test the content from Gemini Flash, as you can see, we'll grab that, and then we'll plug that into Zero GPT and see if it actually is humanized or not. And actually, Gemini Flash is actually beating ChatGPT. ChatGPT 01 came out at 8% humanized. Gemini Flash actually comes out at 7.82%, which means it's already more humanized and is beating the AI detector, but also getting a better optimization score than ChatGPT. Now, of course, it's down to your personal preference whether you actually care about this stuff or not. Some, a lot of SEOs, they don't really care whether they're creating humanized content or not, but it is impressive that number one, you can create very comprehensive articles from Gemini 2.0 Flash. And number two, the fact that you can actually humanize it in one single prompt. And by the way, all the video notes from today, you'll get access to. So don't worry about that. I'll also be giving away 50 prompts that you can use inside Gemini Flash. 
along with some of my ChatGPT 01 preview SOPs as well. So make sure you check out the link in the comments and description for that. I'll be coming onto it later as well. Now, what I want to test it for is how good is it at creating really nice websites, right? So I'm going to say, create the best website you possibly can, only JS, HTML, and CSS. It's a one page website targeting the keyword SEO cost. Calculator for Julian Goldie, brand colors below, persuade people to book a call here. And I'll include my funnel link as well, right? And again, you can see I'm just using a really basic prompt here. I think if you over prompt these reasoning models, it's just not going to be as effective. And also, bear in mind, like I'm not using the full potential of this, right? So I'm using this for coding, for creating content, for bypassing AI detectors, etc. But if you really wanted to test this out to its true limits, and of course you test it in terms of programming or in terms of creating something huge when it comes to code or if, even for example like running some logic and maths tests for it we've got the html back here and um, we'll just see how that performs now of course you can create these websites with bolt.new with chat gpt r1 etc they're super easy and simple to set up here's an example of one we actually built with bolt.new that actually ranked for its target keyword and it was really easy and simple to set up now you can see the design here is really good the website and the tool itself super useful, but that was with Bolt. So now let's test how Gemini Flash thinking mode performs when it comes to coding. So I'm going to plug in this information right here and we'll see how it performs and whether the tool actually works and everything else. So how good is it straight out of the box? So first of all, what I'm going to say is if you compare them side by side and what I'll actually do is I'll pull up a, a more personalized calculator website, which you can see right here. If we pull them up side by side, so this is a website created with Bolt, which is a free no-code editor. And then you've got this website created with a Gemini Flash 2.0 thinking mode. It's, it's quite cool that you can have some drop-down boxes and that sort of thing. It's given more thought to the actual SEO cost calculator. So for example, it's considered like link building effort, content creation, keywords, and the project scope. So what you want to achieve. But the design of the website is not that nice. Now let's see if the actual tool works. So it does work straight off the bat, which is great as well. And then also it has followed my instructions in terms of the brand colors and also sending traffic to our funnels. Honestly, though, if I had a choice between using Bolt for coding and creating websites, or if I had a choice between using Gemini Flash for creating tools or websites, I'm still going to go with Bolt. It just seems to be better straight out of the box. This is not a bad attempt. It's definitely better than some stuff that I've seen with, for example, I tested out GitHub Copilot yesterday, the free version, the new update that came out this week. I wasn't as impressed with its design skills as Gemini Flash, but out of everything, the tools like Bolt, Windsurf, etc., they seem to be much more powerful. So just to recap for you there, you can create websites with Gemini thinking. I just don't think it's as good. I don't think it's as good for creating tools. It just doesn't seem to be as on the UI side. It doesn't seem to be as good on the actual usability side. It's good though, but for creating content, Gemini Flash is really good for humanizing content. Gemini Flash is really good. What I want to test now just as a final test here is I'm going to run this through ChatGPT and also through Gemini Flash thinking mode. And we're going to test using very specific instructions, which one creates the most optimized content, right? So this time around, we're not writing for usability. We're writing for the algorithm. Obviously, normally you should be doing both, but I just want to show you, okay, how well does this perform and does it follow instructions exactly as we need it to? So what we can actually do is we can create something super complex here just to see how this model deals with complexity. So I'm going to plug in all of these recommended LSIs and the amount of times to use them, as you can see right here. So for example, like use this LSI two times in the article. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the word count. So word count equals, and we'll put use the LSIs in the recommended quantities below. Actually, what's interesting about phrases have added a new info gain section. Maybe I'll check that out in the future. And then I'm going to create an outline here, just as a random example. I'm not actually going to publish this content, but I just want to show how we can use this for the instructions. And then I'm going to take this keyword. And again, I'm going to say, create the best SEO article you can. Keyword equals, we'll plug in the keyword right there. We'll take all of this. We'll go into Gemini thinking mode. We're going to plug that in there. And then we're also going to go into chat GPT 01, and we're going to go give it exactly the same prompts, right? And we're going to see, okay, how do these perform? What do we get out of it? Now, straight away, I really don't like the language inside this article. Like it just feels AI fluff already. Maybe we'll have to rehumanize it in a second, but we're going to take this content now. It's pretty stupid. Like it's done some 
weird stuff, for example, it's included the number in brackets over there. So it's definitely not perfect. There's a lot of red flags in this content, for example. It's included the LSIs, but it's also included the number of times it's used it inside the content. And it just, it's got a lot of AI fluff in there too. But anyway, we'll test it out and see how it performs. And you can see that comes out. This is the content from Gemini Flash. It comes out at 61% topic score, which is not bad, right? Our competitors are an average of 53 and we want to be around the same level as our competitors. We don't want to over-optimize our content. Now, ChatGPT01 actually failed the first time. So let's just give it one more chance. As Biggie Small says, give me one more chance and we'll see how that performs. Take your time. That's the other thing about these models, right? When you're using like models such as the thinking mode inside Gemini Flash or ChatGPT01, etc., these thinking models are pretty slow. You can see this is probably taking about 30 to 40 seconds to actually create the content. Just be aware that if you're optimizing for speed, if you're trying to optimize for productivity, it may actually be the case that you do better just using the basic versions of ChatGPT01. You'd probably be better off using, for example, like GPT 4.0 or Gemini Advanced if you're optimizing for speed and productivity, not for logic and reasoning. So we're going to take this content right here and we'll see how this performs. Here we go. So we've got the draft and we'll go into the article, pop that in, see how that performs. So that's actually performing below Gemini Flash, right? So for semantic optimization as well, actually Gemini Flash seems to perform better. For writing content, comprehensive articles, Gemini seems to perform better than O1. And also for humanizing content, Gemini performed well. Now they were all really close in terms of optimization scores, but if you want like an extra 5% out of the content, then Gemini Flash is performing the best. So there you go. Thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done is I've turned all of this process into an SAP so that you or your team can just follow it step by step, super simply, really powerful way to just use Gemini Flash straight out of the box. Additionally, what I've done is I've created 50 prompts to test Gemini including my best content creation prompts, humanization prompts, coding, website development, SEO focus prompts, etc. Pretty much everything you can ever imagine. Now, if you want to get access to that, along with 200 AI lessons on how to do SEO, how to grow your website, keyword research, link building, quality control, free topical maps, etc. Even all of the best free AI SEO tools that I've created, and I've created 50 of them inside this free SEO course. It'll save you thousands of dollars then feel free to get that. And if you scroll down to the free SEO tools section over here, you can actually get all of the prompts and all the video notes that I've mentioned today inside this section called Gemini 2.0 Thinking Mode and the video notes are waiting for you right there. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Link in the comments and description to the free SEO course. If you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to get that link in the comments and description. On this free acceleration session, you will get a free SEO domination plan where You'll basically get a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more sales profits and leads from your website. You'll also discover the secrets of SEO link building and learn a tried, tested, a proven link building strategy. Additionally, you can also ask our world-class SEO experts on the call about any questions, problems, or challenges you're facing. You'll learn the best link building strategies for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building and how to stay access to your traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.